Patriarch. There is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter of the that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back. You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. Take us to Artanis. Most wise. I have brought an additional defensive ability online, Matriarch. Please visit the Solar Core to configure it. All right, we can work on that. I don't. Uh, I want to know what happens. I want to know what happens. We're going to tear through this quickly. Rohan. Oh, Rohana, you are not in good shape. You gotta stop doing that to us. Like, that is. Ugh. Is it just the same thing? It is just the same thing. Ugh, I wanted. Because it looks like she's still possessed, and I don't really know why we're letting that happen, but okay. I don't think there's anything to do in here. Has brought warriors with him. Perhaps there is a benefit to his presence after all. Oh, I've got. Where shall we march? Oh, I've got adepts available now. Okay. Adepts require a lot of work, but they're supposed to be pretty good, but they require a lot of work, so we're going to stick to the stalkers for now. What other warriors do we potentially have? Any new ones? No, not really. Alright, then let's just go ahead and back out. Head to the solar core. What do you want, Carax? Matriarch, the Keystone has begun absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldarim speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the void has been opened. Is there any way to pinpoint Artanis? No. The energies are making us virtually blind. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. All right. What do you want, core interface? What have you got for us? 
Oh, we have mass recall available every 60 seconds. Uh, small energy costs. Instantly teleport all friendly units in target area to your primary nexus. And they get a barrier. Okay. Shield overcharge. Instantly grants barrier to all friendly units and structures that absorbs up to 200 damage. So just bam. Just... And we can deploy Phoenix, dealing 200 damage to enemy units in area upon impact. He attacks on his own and casts Whirlwind, Thunder's Charge, and Shield Capacitors, leaves the battlefield after 30 seconds. That is interesting, but very, very expensive. We also have Shield Recharge. Only regenerate out of combat, requires 5 Solarite per level. That is something interesting, though. I think what I'm going to do... I don't know if I want more Parmonization just yet, although it is useful. The Ploy Pylon we've kept using time and time again. Mass Recall, Shield Overcharge, all of those look so interesting. I guess we can stick to Mass Recall for now. Let's go ahead and grab up Warp Harmonization. And then maybe just take Shield Recharge on top of that. Okay. We'll call that good. Onto the bridge, and time to actually get started in this mission. Your hierarch is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. Hybrids again, High Templar available. Alright. We'll see what we can do. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. All right. Well, we got Dark Tem or regular Templar back. Sorry, and they can turn into Archons, use Psionic Storm, and use Feedback. So, I suppose we'll see what we can do with them. Unleash Psionic Storms, brothers. Let these hybrid thralls feel the wrath of the Templar. Protoss, coming. Well, there you go. Just a couple storms getting the work done. Might have us make an Archon before we actually get up there. Just something to think about. Let's see. We've got plenty of energy for storms available, so let's just get in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Focus their energies into a feedback loop. They will not bear it. Uh, stop getting so shot. Okay, my High Templar can actually attack. Something something to be aware of, I suppose. To me, my swarm! Templar, join us quickly! Where are you going, hybrid? Well, whatever. have arrived just in time. Amon has opened a portal to the void. It must be shut down before it tears us apart. Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The gateway draws power from these void crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. Simple enough prospect, I suppose. Man, we are very low on workers this time. At least our zealots are doing okay. Got a gateway, Templar archives, and a stargate, which can turn into a warp stargate, so we're going to do that right now. Get a warp gate online, too. We do not have a lot of resources. I feel like we're going to have the to sit back. The is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. I hope you're getting ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many zerg as I can spare to help you. Fight well, Templar. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. 
can warp in a Phoenix if I want to. We can warp in extra High Templar without too much effort. I probably should have switched back over to Gathering Gas automatically and not worried so much about the Stargate right away, but oh well. Okay, and we do have some Zerg leaking out this direction to help as well. That's good to know. Mass Recall available. We're starting to actually develop a few workers here and there. Let's send the next couple over to Gas to help out. Because we're going to want a lot of Gas, I have a feeling. You know, I could probably take out that group easily. So let's just wait for the Zerglings to move in. There you go. And that'll let us kind of check about a little bit more for resources and such, like this gas down here. Little things like that can make a big difference, not making probes. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get a forge down. Forge is probably going to be important. Hierarch, I am detecting several energy sources hidden across the temple. They appear to be Zelnaga vessels ancient power sources. If we can locate them, I should be able to use their energy to free up additional solarite from the Spear of Adun's core. Good to know. Definitely something we will want to consider. Okay. For now, though, I'm just more worried about making sure we have enough workers set up that we can consistently actually use the buildings we're trying to bring online. Although I still want to make sure I'm gathering a whole lot of gas as appropriate. Ground weapon upgrades feel kind of important. Cybernetics core also feels important long term, although I'm tempted to go with a basic uh, Zealot Archon High Templar mix for now and then see what I need to do from there to kind of get, get more done. Alright, why don't we just do some of this? wipe out a few things here and there with that and we can keep poking forward and checking on what's going on making sure that we're not getting into a bad situation I suppose I could warp in a Phoenix it's very expensive in the gas maybe that's okay we're gonna need more pylons soon get on that there's also a path down this way that I should probably be investigating so let's go do that and keep you on a different one now. Everybody come with me down this way. Did we lose a Templar? No, he's just hanging out. Oh, there's gas down here too. Shoot. We've secured a Zelnaga vessel, Carax. Prepare for transfer. Okay. Unbelievable. Despite eons of inactivity, these devices are still at full power. Chosen, slay these heretics in Amon's name. No, don't do that. I'm... Oh, great. We have Protoss to bust through on this side. Oh, and they're coming to attack me. Fantastic. Oh, this is going to be a little annoying. Come on, I was trying to make an Archon. That didn't really happen the way I expected it to. On the other hand, we're still okay. Nope. Nope. Lost one for no reason. Quite literally, no reason. Alright, let's get those gateways online we're going to need. Hopefully that'll do. Go ahead and upgrade shields next, probably. As soon as we've got the minerals for it. This crystal's defenders have fallen. Artanis, have your warriors see to its destruction. The swarm is moving on. I'm sending my army your way, Artanis. They'll help clear a path to the crystals. Yeah, I had noticed that at some point. Which way are we actually going? Oh, okay, they've successfully pu pushed through there. That's nice to see. I suppose we should actually finish off the crystal if we need to. We do have this back route we're going to need to take at some point, but don't need to do that just yet, it seems. Alright. Let's just get all these workers out so I don't forget. Keep warping in phoenixes occasionally. Alright, Phoenixes, you can be nice support. Come on. 
go ahead and probably put a cannon here just in case. At least the one to help out. I think that's all the probes I actually need for the time being. Don't want to queue any more of those up. Let's just keep moving with the Templar and the Zealots the best that we can. Crystal destroyed. The sensors are showing three more remain, Hierarch. More gas, more gas for more Templar. Always fantastic. Alright. And we definitely want to keep moving because we do have uh, lots of solar energy that needs using. Speaking of, why don't we just go ahead and help out over here like that. A decent start on things. Grab this gas, then it might be time to start going in toward the back door. Although, if they want to come in from here, we can come in from here together. Whoa, never mind. Forget that. We'll wait on, we'll wait on that route. Never mind. Just, just not doing it. Okay, almost got the shields done. Start weapon upgrades. And things are going kind of okay at this point, I think. We're making some progress, slowly but surely. Got these phoenixes good to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that there. You, I should... Uh, I guess we can have faster warp ends a little bit. That should help. And we have a fight. Cannon's already gone. Everybody just get in there and do... Oh, no, 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 no. I imagine they would have died to that PDD, so it kind of just made sense to make an Archon at that point, I think. Where are those things? Chase down that raven, please. Don't need any more of that nonsense. We've got an Archon ready to go now, so I mean, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright. Solar Lance time. We're just kind of going to hope that we're actually hitting useful targets back in there. Oh, we got something done. Good work, team. Good work. Just keep pressing on through while the Zerglings are distracting the cannons and such, and hopefully we'll be alright. As as Working on it. Sheesh. I will comply. Let's make sure we're shutting down all these other warp ends and such, so we're not going to have more problems long term. And then we can focus on that crystal. Okay. Let's go ahead and scatter a few more, what, cannons and pylons about back here should be alright. Just cannon, cannon, pylon, pylon, I'm going back. to secure a crystal myself, Artanis. Join me if you wish. Alright, we'll try. How's the forge doing? Is that still active? Yes, it is. Tell you what, I'm going to switch that chrono over to the forge to help out a little bit more. Two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two so easily. Hybrid are moving to attack our nexus point. Ready our defenses. Ah, great. I'm gonna have to back off in just a moment here, it sounds like. Oh, of course, we could just Solar Lance through here very quickly. Okay. Hurry up and disable those void crystals. My hive cluster is taking a beating. And I am working on it, I promise. Whoa, 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 those Colossi are just tearing through us. It is beyond Archon time now. And we're getting attacked at the same time during all this. Archon's back out. Yep, Kerrigan went down. That's unfortunate, but we have other things to worry about right at this moment. Wish we had more Solar Lance energy. I probably shouldn't have popped down that pylon. Too late now. Yep, saw that coming. Alright, looks like we could use a couple more gateways, so I'm going to work on that in just a moment here. That's not helpful. There we go. Losing pylons everywhere. Oh, because we were getting attacked from two directions at the same time. At least our pylons slowed them down a little bit.
Yeah, we do not have enough energy to consistently storm at this point. That is unfortunate. Well, let's just keep going. Probably shouldn't have taken Zealots this time. I imagine some stun chargers would have been a bit more effective. Thankfully, there's not too much left we need to take care of, although we do need to poke around and find all these vessels. We have not been particularly successful on that front. Need a probe, need a probe, need a probe. You get up here with me. You're going to help out. You guys are going to warp in more stuff for me, which will come join the group up here, because we are still poking around. through that pretty easily. That should give us access to at least a little more gas and such. Probably should have mass recalled earlier on home. Just something to think about. I imagine we'll be coming through this place again at some point. Maybe we should just go help the Zerg for now. Everybody come on. Give me another pylon out here please. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got all these warp gates online. Good stuff. There we go. Everybody come on, let's go. All together now. Definitely a lot of stuff to do in here. Oh, that hybrid dominator is causing a problem. No, well, thank you for that, although we are kind of a little bit busy over here. Our warriors can destroy it whenever you are ready. I'm working on it, just slowly but surely, it is happening. Not seeing any other Zelnaga holding things that we need to be worrying about. Yeah, and that's not free of defenders when there's still a carrier up there, I just want to point out. There you go, that's free of defenders. Okay. Only one remains, and the portal is growing unstable. We must destroy the final crystal. And I'm so working on it. Hybrid inbound on our nexus point. Great. Warriors Gonna have to get back. We might just need to mass recall up here in, in a minute. Hopefully there's a little Zelnaga thing up here. Focus on oh. The void crystals are nope, 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 nope. Can wait until we're good and ready. Yes, yes, yes. That is a fair point. There's not a Zelnaga thingy up there, apparently. Alright. Solar Lance, let's go. Make a couple more Archons to help out. Whoa, 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 whoa. That. Should have feedbacked earlier. Okay, feedback can wipe them out, but unfortunately that was not clean or pretty. And we threw away most of our forces trying to accomplish it. I was not expecting that to go quite that badly because I wasn't expecting both armies at the same time. Talk about problematic. Ah, oh, man, and now they're trying to move in through the back door. Well, I have a lot of warp gates ready to go. I guess we could upgrade ground armor for the Zealots in particular. I was more considering the Archons earlier. I know they're back there. There they are. It is a little bit awkward relying solely on the Archons for the anti-air damage. Might not have been the best decision, but it's kind of the one I've committed to at this point. I really would love to find the extra solarite sources. That feels important to me. Is that one right there? Yeah, that's one right there. Shoot, I've been walking right past it this whole time. The second Zelnaga power source has been secured. I only detect one energy signal left. Hopefully that's up like this direction and... Yeah, okay, there it is. That is the last of the vessels, Karax. Understood. I am transferring the final power source now. I'm hoping we're going to end up being okay here. Hit the cattle battle cruiser there. Disable the crystals now. I'm working on it. Sheesh. Our enemy. Your Templar are welcome to join in the hunt. You know, I'm already here. I don't really know if you noticed, but we are kind of working on these things together just a little bit, although my army did just get wiped out again. I was really expecting that to go better after the Solar Lances. Well, 
here comes the real swarm. We'll just see what we can send with it. It'll probably just be a mess of zealots for the most part. Alright, here we go. There come the mutas. Let's see if we can help them out by knocking out some of these anti-air turrets. Because if they can't shoot up, then the mutas will be okay. Not a very complicated line of thought, but seems like an effective one to me. I'm assuming there's something up there worth shooting. Nope, apparently not. That's okay. All that happened was we got yelled at for it, not like we actually got punished. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Just want to make sure we're not going to get shot in the back from that barracks. Okay, and just one last push to make. We still have the roaches here. I guess we should move with them. That's not my storms, that's their storms. Feedback time! Alright, good, good, good. There's the feedback. Let's go ahead and make another Archon. Just make another several Archons, actually. Everybody else get in there and finish the job, please. The final crystal has been secured. Destroy it, and victory is ours. Yep, that is the goal. Pull back from the shadow tendril. It will only consume you. I really should have used Phoenixes a bit more aggressively this time, but that's okay. Where are you going, Zerg? We're oh. That's fair. a point they are very different leaders although i feel much more kerrigany than our tannacy wow did we ever fail that time took us 21 minutes didn't even kill 15 units with psi storms and like the first five were free i don't know it's hard to kill things with psi storms guys that aren't marines let's be honest marines and zerglings especially marines anyway at least we did do it successfully, and we got the Solarite bonus objective rewarded this time for us. So I will still call it a fairly successful mission. On that note, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.